Hello, this is Gio. Hey, look what we have here. We have an old antique doctor's balance beam scale. These are what uh, doctors usually use to weigh you when you visit the doctor's office. And they still use these today. You've probably have seen them. And believe it or not, the design and function of these haven't changed. Now this particular one is from the Chicago Scale Mason and Davis Company and this is probably dating uh, late 1900s probably around 1890. So what I want to do today is to show you how to use these kind of balance beam scales. Now again the designs of these haven't changed so the ones you see in your doctor's office today are the same exact design and work identically to this one that's over a hundred years old. Now just to show you the parts, this, this part right here is the poise beam with the upper and lower poise bars. There's a small poise weight here which uh, you can move around. There's a larger poise weight and then there is the um, balance bar window with pointer just like this. Now to calibrate the weight you have this balance ball here which can be adjusted with this little screw. So I usually put uh, just lifting weights on the plate right there. Uh, you know, you can put 50, 100, 200 pounds and just calibrate it with this balance ball. Now to take your weight, basically the doctor or yourself can move this smaller poise weight to the right or left and this larger poise weight to the right or left. When you put it all the way to zero, right here, large and large, the pointer in this window should essentially be right in the center. That's kind of where you want it. You don't want it too high, you don't want it too low. You kind of just want it to balance nicely right in the middle. Kind of like that if I don't hit it. So the first thing you want to do is possibly just estimate your weight. You're going to be stepping on the plate just like that. So I'm going to be stepping on the plate and you're going to be moving this until so the the, the little pointer is now up because I just stepped on the weight, you can see. I step off the weight and it goes back to center. And when I step on it, it goes up and you can kind of feel the weight there. And so you want to just move this 50 pound increments at a time. This one's in, in pounds. You can also get them in kilograms. So 50 pounds, 100 pounds. And what you're looking for is you're moving this until that bar, that pointer in the window falls below center. So we're at 150 and now 250 or 200. So I am between, my weight is between 150 and 200 pounds. So now, now that it's dropped at 200, you actually want to back 50 pounds. So it stays up, but, but you know it's between 150 and 200 pounds. So the next thing you want to do is look at this upper poise bar. Now this is from increments from zero pounds all the way up to 50 pounds right here. And these represent the measurements between these 50 pound increments. So if I started at zero pounds and move this to 20, hopefully this would drop it kind of to the center there. That would represent zero, excuse me, zero plus 20. So it's 20 pounds. If I started at 100, then it would be 100 plus 20, 120 pounds. Again, 50, a little harder math, but 50 plus 20 is 70 pounds. So we're back to 150 and we're starting at zero. So what you want to do is just move this until um, the little window, the pointer in the window drops. And so it has dropped and now and that dropped a little bit above five. And so I'm going to kind of tap it to the left, just kind of slowly, until that pointer in the window is kind of in the center of the window. Give or take. Oops. Move it back a little bit. And there you have it. It's about at the, the four pound mark. So for all my YouTube fans, you have my secret. I weigh, I'm a small guy at 150 plus 4 pounds. So I'm 154 pounds. 
Now this particular scale only goes to 300 pounds. It says 250 here, but when you are at the 250 mark, you still have 50 extra pounds on the small poise bar up here. Now if you do, if, if you do, if you weigh over 300 pounds, um, not, you can't do this for this old antique, but for the more modern ones, one thing it does come with are some extra poise bar weights. You can actually move this to 150, and then there's these weights that sometimes gets hung up down here when they're present. You can kind of hook them up here and add some weight, so you can possibly go up to 400 pounds or more. So most of these scales also come with a little height indicator. So you can measure your height. In this case, you just move this little uh, bar that way. You move up and rotate it and kind of put it on top of your head and then measure the reading. So uh, you can get your weight and your height at the doctor's office. So the next thing I want to do is just show you a little bit how these things function. Now you got the poise bar here. This is connected to another little uh, lever arm right here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's a, a bar right here that kind of connects to this metal piece here. And so it's kind of a, le a lever action like that. And it's connected to this rod that goes all the way down, uh, kind of below um, the, the plate down there. Okay, so I laid the scale on a carpet to kind of protect it, to kind of show you what's underneath this plate. Now this plate's kind of just hanging there because it's attached just by uh, this little rod and this little rod here. You can actually remove the plate pretty easily, but for now I'm just going to keep it there. It's pretty safe. Now underneath here is mechanically virtually identical to the modern scales, except this one of course looks old, cast iron, etc. And so the rod I was talking about that went down the scale exits here and then is attached to these components which essentially act as a lever in themselves. So I will lift this up to kind of show you how this uh, counterweight here works but uh, I'll take this plate off and show you. But before I lift it up I want to show you this one thing where this bar is attached to this counter lever right here. Um, so where it's attached, there's an actual, this little adjustment screw and there's a counterweight adjustment right here. And so if the little, um, the little uh, balance ball that's adjustable up on top, if it's not really getting you the correct weight, you can technically adjust this and it will shorten or lengthen the lever arm of this little balancing lever here. And so that's another way you could adjust and calibrate the weight. Okay, so it's back upright, uh, and but this plate, this little uh, pressure plate is off. And so you have these two pieces here. You have this upper uh, little uh, counterbalance uh, beam here, or rod here, and this lower piece that kind of holds it together. And the plate actually is it kind of, uh, is positioned to connect here and here and sits here and here on these rods. Now they are fixed. The lower one is fixed right here so it can't move. It's fixed kind of, here's a little, uh, this is not original but it's fixed right in the center and then the upper one is fixed here and here and attached to the rod that goes all the way up to the top there. So when you step on the scale and the plate, the plate pushes here, here, and here, and essentially makes this rotate like that. It's fixed at these two points, and so this part rotates, um, the back of it rotates down. And as it rotates down, it doesn't move that much, but it will move the balance poise beam up there, and you can see it moving. And so this is what measures your weight. It transfers your weight here, all the way up this rod here, to this beam right there, to this little hook, and the balance poise rod. And this is virtually identical to modern doctor's scales. And there you have it. That's how you use a physician's balance beam scale. And what better way to do it than on this beautiful antique scale? I hope this video helped you out, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.